Okay, tick volume. We've all heard of it. We all know what it is. It's on a lot of our charts. But the big question is, is it useful? Um, in Forex, there's no centralized exchange where we can access total traded volume, unlike the institutions have in the futures markets, whether that's CME or, or whatever. It's a centralized exchange with very clear volume. Instead, what we have is tick data, which is provided by some of the major brokers. But what is it? As we can see on the slide, uh, the definition is it measures the number of times the price ticks up and down, right? So it measures the number of times that the price ticks up and down. So that's obviously not the same as traded volume, right? Traded volume is how much is actually traded. So the assumption here with tick volume is that if prices change 100 times, for example, in five minutes, that there's a higher activity than if prices changes only 50 times. And this should reflect the corresponding change in trading volume. I hope that makes sense. Um, however, and contrary to that, what if you had a period of extremely high selling volume matched by extremely high buying volume? So almost even buying and selling that would keep the price fairly stable. Would this show up on tick volume as much as in actual traded volume? Obviously, if you've got matching buyers and sellers or the same amount of volume, you might not think prices is changing as much as it would do with actual traded volume. So the question is whether tick volume represents a good reflection of actual traded volume in the Forex market. And this has been one of the issues why most tech traders don't use it, right? Because they think it is actually useless. They think it's no reflection of trading volume. So a huge proportion of traders don't even look at it. So let's have a look. So here we've got the correlation between tick volume and actual traded volume. So there was some research published back in 2011 by Casper Marni, who is quite an experienced Forex trader, worked at UBS and HSBC. And he was one of the first to debunk the myths of limited usefulness of tick volume in spot Forex markets. Um, I will send you all a link to the research um, in the Slack afterwards, so you can have a look for yourself. But he concluded that existence of strikingly high levels of accuracy between tick, ac tick activity and actual traded volume, which indicates the importance of tick data. So if we look on our right, you've got the four currency pairs there. Um, you've got the correlation coefficients all above 90%. So, you know, that shows there's a 90% correlation between tick volume and actual traded volume, which is, which is great, right? So, you know, it's, it's crazy that so many people don't actually look at volume and tick data in their trading. Um, you can see in the little box at the bottom, not sure if you can see my cursor, but over here, from our analysis of these four currency pairs, we would postulate that over 90% of movement in tick volume in any currency pair is reflected in the movement of actual traded volume, i.e. if tick volume is seen to be increasing, traded volume will be increasing in a very similar manner. Now, there's lots of other research online supporting this study and lots of other independent studies which show an extremely high correlation. You can just search it into Google, you'll, you'll see a lot come up. So I think from this and other research, we can safely assume that tick volume is a good representation of actual traded volume. 